Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we learn about Zina diet. Now, let's do a comparison between a normal diet and a Zina diet. This is a normal diet, and the Zina diet looks like this. The black band here shows the cathode, just like this white band in a normal diet is showing a cathode. And if you see the characteristics curve, there is not much difference between the two. They look alike. The only difference that uh, I'll discuss here is that this diode, normal diode, works in the forward bias region. So it lets current flow in one direction. But when we apply a negative bias or reverse bias, what will happen that after some time this diode will break or burn down because of the excessive current will flow through this and this will not be reusable anymore. But in case of a Zener diode, if we keep on applying the reverse bias, at one point it will also break down, but when we reduce this voltage it will come back live and it will not be damaged. So that's the difference between the two. This also is this uh, forward bias region, but we don't use this really. Uh, for that we use the normal diode, but we extensively use the uh, reverse bias region of a Zener diode. So I hope uh, the difference is clear that at whatever voltage this is rated, it will break down, but when the voltage is reduced, it will again uh, start working and it will not be damaged. That there is a term used for this uh, region where the excessive current flows and this is called avalanche current or avalanche breakdown region and I hope you know what is avalanche and on the hills when uh, snow start rolling from the top and it uh, keeps on getting momentum and it keeps on uh, increasing in size and becomes very big and it can destroy all the, the like you can see it will destroy the road and the trees and the houses that come so from that name we have taken here avalanche current that means there is an excessive current that will flow at this point at the breakdown point now as i mentioned that the normal diode is used in the forward bias region but Zena diode is used in the reverse bias region. Also, if you look at this chart, this has given the breakdown voltages for various Zena diodes. So depending on the model, you can see the, the breakdown voltage here is 3.3, then 3.6, and 6.2, and so on. So when we draw the equivalent circuit for the Zener diode, we generally replace it by a voltage source and a resistance. And this resistance is negligible, therefore we just represent it by a voltage source. And this voltage source is the breakdown voltage of the Zener. So if you are using this, then here we write 3.3 volt. Now a concept of Zener on and off I'll explain here. Uh, let's assume that this Zener is uh, this one 4.7 volt is the breakdown voltage here. So the moment we apply 4.7 volt this will break down and we call that the diode is on now. And when the diode is on we can replace the diode by a voltage source of 4.7 volt in this case. What will happen if the applied voltage is 3 volt or 2 volt or 1 volt? Since it is less than the breakdown voltage, therefore the diode will remain off. And so we show with it an open circuit. The diode is off here because the applied voltage is less than the Zener voltage. Here the applied voltage is greater than the Zener voltage, therefore this is on. 
Now I'll try to build the concept with the help of these two examples. In the first case, this one is 1k and the RL is 2k. In the second case, RL is 1k and this one is 2k, R is 2k. Rest everything is same. So the first step or step 1 is that we remove the zener. We remove the zener and then calculate V which is actually the voltage across RL. So V in this case you can see this divided by the total resistance multiplied by 2K is 6 volt whereas in this case it is divided by total resistance multiplied by 1K it is 3 volt. Now in the first case 6 volt is greater than 4.7 volt so V is greater than Vz and therefore the zener is on. So when the zener is on we replace it with an equivalent voltage source of 4.7 volt. But when it is off because you see since V is less than Vz the zener is off so we keep it open and whatever is the calculated voltage that will be the voltage V so it will be 3 volt here. So I hope this concept is clear. Only if you have uh, got this concept you will be able to solve the problems without any error. Now the question is how much is VL? Now in this case VL is the same as this voltage because they are in parallel. So VL is 4.7 volt. Whereas in this case VL is in parallel with this so VL will be 3 volt. So this will have to be clear as well. Okay, now let's see example 2.26. For the Zener diode network we have to find out VL, VR, IZ and the power Z and we have to repeat this with RL uh, 3 kilo. This is the first part with 1.2 kilo and the second part we repeat with 3 kilo. So we follow the same technique remove the diode, remove the zener so this becomes open calculate V so calculating V by putting in the same way formula so V is 8.73 volt. Now how much is our diode rated? It is rated at 10 volt. So the diode is off because V calculated here is less than Vz and the, hence the zener is off. So if it is off this voltage will remain whatever we have calculated here. So VL is 8.73. So this is 8.73 we have calculated and therefore VL is also 8.73 volt. And VR can be found by VI minus VL. So VL we have found, VI is given, so VR is VI minus VL. So it is 7.27 volt. Then we find current I since this is open or off no current is flowing and therefore IZ is equal to 0 and power is VZIZ since IZ is 0 therefore power is also 0 watt. Now let's see the second part. Now the second part we have replaced this resistance by 3 kilo as given in the book and again we open it calculate V so using this formula we have now calculated V to be 12 volt now the zener is rated at 10 volt so our V is greater than Vz and therefore the zener is on and therefore Vz is equal to 10 volt so we just write here 10 volt And since Vz is 10 volt, therefore Vl is also 10 volt. This is 10 volt. This will remain 10 volt. So this is also 10 volt. And now 
वी आर सेम वे वी आई माइनस वी एल इज सिक्स वोल्ट द करंट नाउ वी कैन फाइंड इज द वोल्टेज हेयर और वोल्टेज दिस वन सो टेन वोल्ट डिवाइडेड बाय दिस रेजिस्टेंस आर एल थ्री पॉइंट थ्री मिली एम्पेयर सो दिस इज द करंट थ्रू द लोड एल and the current through the resistor so this is the resistor we have found the value of vr6 and r is given 1 kilo so we get ir 6 milli ampere and from here we can find now the uh, current through the diode which is this current ir minus il so ir minus il is 2.67 milli ampere and the power dissipated is p v into i now v of the zener is 10 volt and i we found to be 2.67 milli ampere so this is equal to 26.7 milli watt and now this diode is rated at 30 milli watt is from the chart or from the given here and therefore you can conclude that it is safe to operate at this 26.7 milliwatt which is less than the rated power so i hope this gives you an understanding how to solve zener diode problems we'll follow with uh, another one or two video thank you